top tips for PR um, <laughs> dealing with you and with the BBC Business Unit? What would they be? Uh, top tips would be um, if you've got an email, um, put the story in the subject line. Um, be careful about knowing what outlets we have and what their appetite is. Get to know the outlets because I get, for instance, probably 200 emails a day, most of which I delete unread. So I need something in the, in the tagline which will draw me in. Um, and don't send me great big attachments. If you can't get your story into the first paragraph of an email, then you're not doing your job. Use of Twitter for comms with PRs? I, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, a Twitter holic, so, uh, and I now find it an easier way to communicate uh, than my email because um, you know I've chosen to follow uh, various PR people, God help me, um, and, and therefore you know uh, if I see stuff from them I will, I will um, I'll be inclined to read it so I find it a very useful means of, of communicating with people and savvy PRs are following me, Ruskin147 uh, which is my why personal Rus account. Why Ruskin? Uh, it happens to be where I was born. I was born at 147 Ruskin Park House, Champion Hill, London SE5. And for some reason just thought of this as a tagline when Twitter started and I didn't understand it. Good. Um, Someone in the audience asked that question, so we've covered that off. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, 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 use, I use it obsessively to, um, to find stories or to find angles around stories. Whatever I'm doing, I tweet about it. So. Um, if you follow me, you, you will know what I'm interested in already. And how's that going to affect the future of the media, do you think? The advent of social media online, these... It's, be, it's, been, it's, it's been extraordinary, if you think. I mean, the last five years uh, has seen this social media revolution, which is, we've seen what's happened in, in uh, the Arab Spring. We've seen its use during the London riots. Um, it is a huge challenge to all sorts of institutions, including the media. And... I can't remember a bigger change to the way the media works than, than that occasioned by social media. Uh, it's now getting to the stage where you know, some people are beginning to ask questions about whether it is all, always that useful. I've just seen a, a Daily Telegraph correspondent on Twitter complaining that he has to follow up all sorts of daft rumours because they're hot on Twitter. Uh, the 24-hour news culture has become you know, the 24-second news culture.